And we are here with Miss Ernestine Shepherd and Chauncey D. Whitehead. And we're getting ready to get this walk going just to keep healthy, stay fit, and continue to be in the best shape of our lives. I'm here with a few of my members, Gail, and a number, another member that does not want to be on camera, <laughs> Nima. And we're just going to have fun in the process. Wish you were here. If you're not here today, maybe you'll be here next time. I am excited. And most of all, I'm excited because I'm here with my trainer, Nebby Gray. <laughs> fit like me divas. We are here. I'm just starting my journey with Nevi and I'm here to walk with Miss jo um, Ernestine and the crew and I'm just excited to be here. I'm really encouraged by Ernestine and seeing these women here. We got to do the same thing with the guys as well. You not only have to exercise, you got to eat right, you got to live right and this is encouraging. I'm really encouraged and fired up and we're hoping that more people will get uh, I guess kind of acquainted to the importance of exercising. Uh, and I'm real happy and honored to be here, honored that Ernestine would ask me to come so early in the morning. <laughs> I'm a walker, and when I walk, I feel so much better. Endorphins kick off in my head. I'm able to be at peace, and I can think about those things that are, are peaceful and move my life forward. So this, for so many people, is just a wonderful experience. And for it to be repetitious is even more wonderful because we need sustainable activities, and it doesn't cost anything to walk. You can do it every day. You're out among friends and among people, and it's just a wonderful community event and a healthy event to move people's <laughs> lives forward in a healthy fashion. I found out about the uh, event from Chauncey the trainer, um, and he wanted me to come out to share my story about my journey to an iron girl. So I want to flash back to last year. I didn't know how to swim. Um, I mean, I was petrified of the water, and so it's been an amazing journey for me because I've never lived this type of lifestyle in my adult life, so now I'm running, I'm biking, I'm swimming, I'm doing all the things that, you know, you should want to do when you're my age or at any age, and just staying healthy. And I'm here to support not only Chauncey, but all the people here, because health is important, your life is important, and the more active you are, the longer you can live. I'm really committed myself to people being fit. I've been asked exercising right for more than 36 toes. years Stretch and so uh, and too help. many of us Three, especially in the African-American community one. We really don't exercise enough, but I'm seeing more and more of us, which is like you see this morning, out here committed. If we're out here before 7 o'clock in the morning, that means we're committed to being fit. So it's just great for Miss Ernestine and Chauncey to spearhead this and have people come out and do this. I have decided that I want to do this once a month to let everybody get physically fit and they are just wonderful. I want them to first know that age is nothing but a number and that you can get fit. And to walk, if it's ever anything that can keep you in shape, it's walking. It feels great so far. I mean, we, we're getting our lungs full of air and getting exhausted a little bit, but other than that, it's just fine. I mean, it's something that, I guess you get used to it, but so early in the morning, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's great. It is fabulous. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> a blessing. How, why is like an event like this so important? Oh, to keep people motivated, especially now that it's getting cooler. You know, during the summer, of course, we're always active and everything, but now that it's cooling down, it's important that we still get out and stay active. You know, so. Great. Just getting out and keeping it moving. <laughs> you know, I think looking at Miss Ernestine and knowing that at her level of maturity, I should have no excuse not to try to get myself there, you know? Yeah. So um, I, I did another walk with her and it was good. So I'm real, real excited about it. I had to get my exercise in for this weekend. So every weekend I'm out exercising. It's just a lifestyle. Um, it's, it's just like eating. It's like you have to eat every day. You have to work out every day. It goes hand in hand because it's a part of my overall well-being. And that's what fitness is to me. It feels awesome to me. I used to do this years ago. I'm 44 now. And I said, I'm getting older. I'm not getting any younger. I want to stay around as long as God will allow. So I have to do what I have to do to keep me here. And fitness has always been a high gear for me. But like I said, I stopped it and now I'm picking it back up and it just feels great. It is wonderful. Everybody made it through the hills. 
not anyone left behind. Now we're on our way back. What wonderful men and women out here this morning. They are determined, dedicated, and disciplined to be fit. 